All right, let's go ahead and talk about where we're going to fish. We're going to fish anywhere north of 595 um, all the way up to the to Boca area. You're just going to want to find fresh water, find you a canal, walk a bank, anywhere that's uh, publicly accessible or what have you. So let's go ahead and gear up. I'm working a 7.6 Piscifun medium heavy action rod with a Shimano SLX DC 8.5 to 1 ratio. So here I've got the, the plastic frog rigged out already. Uh, notice there's no leader line. All I'm using is 40 pound black braid. So here are my uh, frogs. It's very simple. I got some frogs and I got some hooks. I'm using a 30 degree wide gap, three aught spring lock. I don't care if it's Gamagatsu or owner. Um, I like to keep them on this safety pin for ease of uh, organization. Uh, again, that's the Bruiser Baits 3.5 kicking frog. So here you can see that wide gap hook. It's got a wide gap with a spring on it. That spring just dangles down in there. So you'll see how I use this in just a minute. I'm going to take one of these one of these frogs here, and I'm going to drop that screw lock right in the center of the tip of it, and I'm just going to screw it in. So there's a nice little uh, post in the center of that spring lock that helps you keep it straight, and you're going to screw that guy straight in to where it almost touches the eye of the hook. Um, once I have that lined up, it's very important to put the bottom side, the flat side, to the shank of the hook. So there, you'll see what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have the bottom side towards the shank, and I'm going to measure with my thumb where the hook is going to go through the body, and then I'm going to punch it through, straight through. And then I push the hook all the way through, and then I pull it back down to seat it right in the back of the, uh, of the lure. Now, here I'm going to pin this for weedless. You just kind of, when it's in, push that body up and just barely get the tip of that hook in the, in the soft plastic so that when you throw this, um, it'll land either, whether it's hooked down or belly down, that uh, it stays clear of the weeds and you don't pick up a whole bunch of trash. So here's that presentation. Now we're going to take this and we're going to go... Um, show you how we're working this thing. So here I'm going to try to maintain two feet parallel to the shoreline. Anything more than that and, and you're really more bass fishing than snakehead fishing. Um, you'll want to keep the rod tip up on the retrieve and cast it as far as you can and bring that presentation right across the edge of the weeds and uh, shoreline and what have you. So that's that's one way to fish this along the shoreline. You'll see uh, cast it out and try to try to maintain that that nice two foot uh, distance and you'll be right in the middle of their strike zones. Snakehead uh, oftentimes will hide up underneath the banks. So here one of the things I like to do is I like to cast it all the way across, hit the opposite side of the bank and just hop it off and then run it across the water. Snakehead hunt, hunt by vibration uh, primarily so um, it's not so much what the lure is doing, it's, it's that it's making that, uh, that plopping as those, uh, as those little legs get to kicking. You just bring that along and you'll, you'll be in good shape. So here is what it looks like when you're going to go set that hook. Very important to, to give it a two count before you set that hook. When they strike, you lower that rod tip, count to two, and give them a, give them a, give them a nice crack. So here I'm going to do it one more time. You're going to see me cast this, and I'm going to simulate hook set, see how that rod tips up, simulate the strike, drop that rod tip down, let them run for a second or two, and then put the hammer down on them. Once you do that, you're going to be catching a lot more of these fish. Now here's what this is going to look like from the uh, shoreline perspective, close to the water. That's about how fast I'm ripping that across there. I'm able to cover a lot of ground quickly and uh, get quite a few hookups, but as you can see, I'm keeping that rod tip up, which allows you or prevents that lure from diving down into those weeds. You skirt it right across the top of them. You're going to be in good shape. So let's see what this looks like when, we, when we're putting this plan in action. So here I'm on my kayak and I was, I was cruising through, and now let's get the breakdown, okay? We're going to analyze this a little bit. So first thing I do is I see shade. That big old shade tree over there where there's shade right on the shoreline, man, that's a dead ringer. That's a dead ringer for a snakehead, middle of the day, hiding spot. So watch this. We're going to go ahead and let that lure rip. I'm going to drop it right in the base of that tree, give her a couple cranks, and you're going to see this guy uh, unload on it. Boom. Weight 1002 and set that hook. 
So right there, uh, this guy fights it out. It's a really good fish, but you saw um, I gave him a two count. I kept that rod tip up when he hit it. I, I let him have some slack, and then, and then when I hit him, I stuck him real good. So that's pretty much the, the basics on snakehead fishing. Keep that rod tip up, keep it close to the shoreline, look to find spots where they're gonna be hanging out. Uh, they, they hunt by vibration, find the shady spots during the day, uh, up close to cover where they can hide in ambush, and uh, you're gonna be in really good shape. I hope this helps. Please leave your comments in the comments section if you have any questions, and I hope at the end of the day, you have another fine day full of fun and adventure.